Look, it's I'm fine. sorry that ha- that happened yesterday, but it was a serious, serious, serious situation that I had to deal with. I was, um, hi, well, do you want to know what happened to me? Welcome to A Pint and Two Shots, coming to you from the G4 Podcast Studio, yeah. with part-time pundit and average actor Stephen Purden, and bringing your wealth of knowledge and questionable patter, it's our no-nonsense dafty Chris Toll. Completing our front three, it's the man himself. All the way from the tap end of Stevenson, it's Grado! Welcome to A Pint Two Shots, it's a podcast, it's a football podcast. We're live here at the G4 Claim Studios in Wisher. Joining the, the episode today, we've got Shilsuit Bob, Crystal, and a Champ Champ. How's it going? Oh, how are you, mate? How's it well rehearsed intro there, Gredo? Oh, no, how are you, mate? Well, it's well, I've just been medical. We're live from the hips training. No, we're not. Look, sorry. I'm sorry that ha- that happened yesterday, but it was a serious, serious, serious situation that I had to deal with. I was, um, hi, well, do you want to know what happened to me? Obviously. So... Well, kid on we don't know. Just I, had, for us. I, I don't a, really know the full story. Mm. I kind of glanced over it, but I just I'm glad you're alive. That's well, right. I had a boil in my neck. You know, you were obviously telling me to go and get it seen to. Yes, I yes. went last week. Woman was like, ah, just to keep putting warm um, towels, or compresses, all that kind of carry on. So all the way through WrestleMania and Saturday, I had a warm compress on it. I was kind of footing a bit with picking and poking at it, which I probably shouldn't have been doing in the mm. hindsight. Uh, and then on Monday morning, woke up, started driving to the radio, and then I felt mm, wabbit, wabbit, very wabbit. Mm. There was a time where I just was coming up to um, the uh, Silverburn shopping centre, and I thought I'm going to need pollen. I'm going to spew. Oh. Uh, heat, chills, feverish, really, really feeling. Multiplying. It was really. Great. <laughs> <laughs> like, you try to do a grief so see, see, <laughs> see when you were driving, when mm. you were losing control. <laughs> Is this what I oh, don't fake laugh. So anyway, that story's uh, electrifying. <laughs> so you better shape up. <laughs> so I then proceeded to the gorbals and I participated in the show. However, at the at the end of the show, I just had to get him. And do you know? I'd go to him because it's obviously it's started to infect the pudgeon, and it's obviously started to get into the blood. Pudgeon, So I say, is this this infection's made you not know, be able to pronounce pudgeon uh, properly? <laughs> That's why we pronounce it the other way. Uh, and uh, so, he keeps a pudgeon uh, pies- up. You'll end up in the cemetery <laughs> <laughs> for a leaving a clock. <laughs> I'm still listening to you talk to me. <laughs> um, and I go home at twenty past eleven, and do you know I slept for twenty past eleven to about nine o'clock at night. See, I said this to Nicola. Cause it floored me. There's no, there's, there's. It's very rarely like an hour or two goes by where I don't hear for you. Mm-hmm. And I hadn't heard for you all day. And I messaged you that morning, and I hadn't heard for you. Then I messaged you again later on about something else. And I'd be like, "Hi, Nicola, something alright, man." Mm-hmm. And I was going to text you. And I thought I'll leave him an hour. So I knew you were on the rougher end because I spoke to you on Sunday night. No, no. Compass Mentis. And also, I was kind of paranoid that folk thought it was because I was up on it watching WrestleMania. No. I did watch the f- I watched night one, but, but night you can go up on it. You I can do that. You, you, you're like I'm a hustler. Hi. Um, so slept slept all day. So then the uh, Tuesday, go, I go to work, get sent home because it was just really getting bad, and then I went to I, I, I went to the doctors and he says, "Look, it's an abscess," which Ooh. I thought that's a better name for it because I mean I was getting the piss taken out of me that I was taking time off work for having a boil in my neck. Mm-hmm. I was tell shy. She says, "Don't tell folk you've got a boil in your neck. See, you've got fit." Pushing or something like that rather than say you've got patient, a, a bile in your neck. Aye. It's an abscess. He says, no wonder you're feeling ill. <laughs> Make no mistake about no, that. <laughs> tell you what, Gredo, it's a bad one. It really is. <laughs> it really is. I have to tell you, Gredo. I have to tell you. It's full of poison. It's full of pudging. At first, at first glance, I'm looking uh, at it. <laughs> first glance, I thought it was just a, a boil, but it's, it's an abscess. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> So, mate, he says, do you want to go to town? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm ready to go to town. Right. He says, I can send you up to A&E. Oh, see, I'm going to get dancing with a boy on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> so, he says, are you ready to do this? He says, get a tap off, get belly, own the thing with and he... Was it, sir? Didn't he hang up. Was it, sir? Well, maybe I had a wee video about hearing me on the bed right now. Watch. Oh. Yeah, so see that there? So, Sorry. I mean, he was just squeaking right and like that. Oh, did they not even launch it? Did they pop it? No, he popped it with a wee stick and then he just went, and he just uh, massaged it out. Was it like oh, that? Was it like oh. Dr. Pimple Popper? Was it like that? Aye, exactly like that. And he's gone, think of the Queen, Grado, think of the Queen. Think of the Queen, we tell you, think of the Queen. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> uh, he gave me so then he did you have the tunes on the background or that? <laughs> 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 it's a kind of magic. <laughs> Smooth oh, I'm on, Sorry, Gredo, that's, that's your wrong queen. <laughs> Sitting on the bed, man. Smooth <laughs> FM on top. Right, Gredo, thank you, the queen. <laughs> and uh, we'll have a bit of Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, then I was like, man, I goes, we're pals, man. I goes, oh, you, 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 you're man, you're nurse, man. I was like, I started up, he's called, ah, it was a pink cars, man. Let's put this guy. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, just for a kid. Let's go. Let's go. Need that for you. Cradle, like, cradle, <laughs> come hand me two prescription pads. <laughs> well, he said, "We says, do you want a dressing for that?" I went, "You better believe I have the blue cheese." <laughs> 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 hey, put me a dressing room. I got every bar of lollipop, man. And uh, I was just, I just, that's yeah. me on, that's me on antibiotics. Yeah. First time I've ever been on antibiotics. Is it? That's in time. your life? That's what everybody was saying. How could you have went all that time without having a... Hey, one of you full of poison. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've ever had antibiotics. What, what are you on them for? Oh, week. Are they the big bullet ones? Nah, aye, mate. Oh, mm. mate, they're a nightmare. Do you always have to take them? Why would I always <laughs> have to take them? Dwarf isn't can't be cured with I didn't mean like antibiotics cream. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. That's low. Oh! I didn't mean it like that. But you've been hanging about with me too long. Wait, <laughs> all right, you're rubbing after me. Wait, um, <laughs> tell the first me. time I've done that to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go take them for dinner. What? <laughs> what, um, what do you take antibiotics for? Yeah, usually I get chest infections, mate. I see. I don't think I've ever had a chest infection. Right. Well, you're getting one now that you've said that. Aye. Aye. Oh, tempting fate. Do you get chest and fate? I, I, nah. ne- I never hear you getting no nah, well. I'm, I'm never no well. The one. That bloody brain hemorrhage or something like that, you know? That, Aye, that, no, that was that measles or something. Measles. <laughs> No, but I see you had your I know you that, had your menjitis. That, 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 that made up for all the times I've not been no well. Because I'm never no... I'm never no no half, like, man. I know. I'm no never really no well. By the way... You were in a coma and all that, weren't you? Well, I was in a bad way. Did you go in a coma? I, went I was not in a coma. I tell fuck I was in a coma. I, I, all right, I was in a coma. But I was out my bin. I've told you all the stories. I was out mm. my bin. I was trying to square going in our season on that. I was dry. It was like one floor of the cuckoo's nest for about three days. That's it. Your infections does that. Take you over Danny DeVito. No, <laughs> <laughs> mate, that's no stretch. No, I was kind of, I was bad, man. Eh? Mm. Is that your infections usually does that? Does Aye, that makes you, know, you a bit do lally, right, I remember going to see my grandma and she was like, lying there going, that's off the coronation street. That's well, like, that's what happened. Manny Winnie came up to see me, right? Annie Winnie, you've got Annie Winnie. I, no. <laughs> Well, the thing is, she, she, was lovely. she did not come up to see me. There was a nurse, I thought looked like her. So that day, I was at my bin, right? Mm-hmm. And she, this nurse has come here to give me my meds and she's talking to me and all that. And then I don't know how much time has passed. Nicholas, there, Nicholas, and I was like, ah, shh, Nicholas, don't tell me much. So I was like, they're doing a scene, they're doing a scene. <laughs> and Nicholas, like, what are you talking? I was like, Winnie, she got a part in Holby City. <laughs> Holby and, and Nicholas, like, what are you talking about, man? And she's pure upset about her, but I'm going, money this year. Well, then I seen I've got a part in Hobie City. Now. So I thought I was in Hobie City. Wow. But there was this guy, right? The first you remember day, that, aye? I remember it vaguely, right? But there was one night, right, where it was, I was starting to get better. The meds were starting to work. I was in a hospital for about three months. I was having mm-hmm. work for Wow, did you lose a bit? Ah, mate, I was, because then I got married like three months after it. But I was not bad. I mate, you lose even more of it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I was sitting right in the bed one night. And because it was in the southern, right? Could see the motorway in the distance, right? So I was adamant, man, these bikers are coming, man. Like Sons of Anarchy. I was like, ah, man, they're coming to get me, man. And I'm going to have up. Then I drifted off and I woke up and there was this old guy, God, I don't know if he's dead, right? But God love him, right? Actually, probably is. Davy, right? Davy. <laughs> I woke up and Davy's at the end of my bed. He's like, Give me his! Give me his! Oh, and I'm sitting there like, man, I'm ready to freak out. I'm like, what is this guy doing, man? What was it like a brain injury? Mate, what, it, was a or stroke, it was a stroke unit they put me in. Right, right? and I'm sitting there and this guy's like, Give me his! Give me fucking his! Give me his! And he was like, ah, Go for five me, up. Mm. It was a quote unquote though. Is that it quote right? But he's given me at large, man. I'm like, I was absolutely petrified. There is, man. there is nothing worse than being scared in a hospital. I, I remember that there were times about the time that I took no well in Ibiza. No, mm-hmm. you didn't have really to go to Spanish hospital. Oh. Did you? Oh. Spanish hospital, mate. Oh, man. Right? And uh, I felt whatever they gave me, they drained something. Every single me. person in the Ibiza hospital was full of eckies and all. That's <laughs> no well, so I was lying, I was lying, I was getting whatever was all hooked up to, and I fell asleep, and I woke up. And there was, I was mate that, and that's dark hospital, oh. right? And I'm going, hola, 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 
Oh, look, right, uh, see when they Listen, t- stop that kid on laughing. <laughs> <laughs> see how when I, and see when I went to get checked out, right? Ken, how you can get insurance for your bank. Aye. So the woman's like, this is going to cost you 200 pounds. I says, I'm insured, hold insurance. And she's like, well, where's your papers? I'm like, my bank here. like, I've got it through my bank. Aye. So that's what I like, bank. Aye, but that is You need to pay, 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 pay it then, claim it back. Ah, right, okay. Aye. See, you know, you're the bank. Hola. 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 Como esta? <laughs> Como. Por favor. <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> I just, for some reason, I imagine waking up in a, a beef a hospital and like, Avicii's next to you now. Eyeball Paul. Fat boy slim, man. This is some, some laughing at it. <laughs> Here, get some of that vodka in your eye. You'll be right as rain. <laughs> Sitting there in the hospital bed, you were cracking right, mate. I was some set you played that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was quite, I was surprised and then, Oh man, I remember like I had to go home. I went. I came home early, and of course I put it on mm. Facebook. I think I get sympathy. Uh, I'm coming home early for a but I got absolutely <laughs> pissed in right away. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't know how serious a situation no, it was. No, I know. Serious. <laughs> well, mate, are you feeling better? Well, listen, I'm. I'm Did you get sleep last I'm, night? I'm out of the worst day. I'm out of the worst day. I feel a wee You're bit better. You're looking good. Thanks, bro. Aye. Um, so I've got to just kind of keep keep an eye on it. That G4 claims that looks good on you. G4 claims. So I maybe need to go back for, uh, Thursday to get a G. But anyway, that's by the by. How's everybody else? I feel yeah. as if it's all been talking about me, guys. Oh, but mate, you for an emergency. I have, man. Yeah. But I'm over the best yeah. and I, f- I thank. Because, oh, I need to apologise to the G4 claims team. Because obviously we had the big day at Hibs. Well, I didn't realise okay. he'd didn't realize he'd, they'd put up music videos uh, and we are coming to Hibs. Oh, did, ah, did that, that, to, it's a lesson to uh, be learned. Never promote a podcast until it's in the bag. Oh, that's a rudder's that's told. A, that's a rudder's told. Oh, that, I believe, I believe they've got a microphone. Wait, 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 wait a minute, they've got a microphone to retort. What would you say, Greg? Watch your tone, Greg. <laughs> watch your tone, mate. Come on. Come on. No, but Just watch that. The, the th- what we heard was... Uh, Greg and Grant and everybody else they'd all had a wee list out what we were doing they were all buzzing they just put the last camera in the motor it was a wee day out last camera in the motor sunshine on leaf blasting out the 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 tranny and then big pushing arse phones what is it pushing 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 arse phones and says it's not happening big pushing I do feel bad I do I do was that you can do about it the boy eating the bagpipe or something fuck's sake grid Ah, (laughs) fiver that's fiver but I'm just saying what you said like Gredo's not well and it's like oh what (laughs) da how's she been doing no well (laughs) Well, that was my problem. We, we went up to Jack's today. We went up to Jack's today for a wee bit of scran uh, before yeah. the show, and they were asking for you. I says, "Ah, the big man's no keeping well now." Aye. Oh, I was smart, pure ashen faces. Thought Aye. you were in the way out. Aye. 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 Well, mate, it's funny. See, let's see the doctor as well. He said um, he told me that he had dealt with four boils this week. He says mm-hmm. it's big now. Aye. So you're kind of in fashion. <laughs> you're a fashionita. It's gone a bit. Fashion. Fashion. It's, 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 it's gone a bit. You want to be a. Beating two shots, fashionita. <laughs> Get a big plug in your neck. No, shout out to Big Slim at Jack's Kitchen. He's brand new to Big Guy. He said his mate had one or not. Oh, really? See what I mean? It's gone, it's just, it's gone, it's gone, a, it's gone a bit. It's gone a bit, Hey, just watch yourself out there. And, guys, yeah. and I, I, I don't, don't ever be scared to, to take off this. your work. We're the best will in the world see your barber. Does oh. he shave the bottom of your neck? Mate. Why would you try not and attempt to throw Mr. Blonde? It's no, not, it's not <laughs> rascal, mate. This isn't rascal. No, but hey, remember, actually, remember that dream. Do you usually say it's because of my hygiene? I'm out washing, and this first thing that you wash is your neck. No, I can't. I've through. never no. known anybody that goes, does a pee, and washes Aye. his willy after. And I, I, I can, I can you know what I mean? for Grado's hygiene, Joe. You're talking <laughs> rubbish here, Joe. I share a dressing room with this guy two months of the year. He's one of the cleanest guys I know. Aye. What have you got to say about how, how I'm clean? No, you're very clean. Aye, you're good. very thorough. And How do you know? How, I don't want to say, but how do you know I wash my willy after a day pee? Because I've witnessed you doing it. Okay. Right, and every... <laughs> You know when Grado's gone for a session, man, to like, make sure he's alright, he takes baby wipes, not a toilet with him. You know, very you know fine well, the only reason he washes his willies is because when he gets out, he goes into the toilet water. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember the time, because you're up, your, up in your hygiene, remember the time I got you this face wash that I was using? Right. Do you remember it? Oh, I do remember that. It was that. this face wash, it's like charcoal L'Oreal face wash, right? I used to get it's stuff. good, man. Aye. But he didn't like it, man. He's put it on, man, I swear to God, he actually had a meltdown. He's stunning at the sink when he tap on wash. He's going, it's not coming off! This isn't coming off! <laughs> we're going to do it. 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 It's not coming off. He's walking about going, how do you get this? I'm like, mate, just wash it off. Wash your face. And it wouldn't come off, but... <laughs> <laughs> it was like off. charcoal, man. Right. It wouldn't come off, but... Aye, man. <laughs> Right, lads, 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 so, lads, 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 big, lads, big lads. week ahead. Big weekend. It's old for him on Saturday. Can you believe it? I can't believe it's this quick. Let's get into it. Sorry, mate. Um, 
So let's get into it. How are we feeling? To I'm going to put it to you first. I was in um, the petrol station this morning and I said, you know, listen to the podcast. He says, it's about Rangers, have we? Oh, who the, 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 the guy? Aye, aye, the guy, guy in the garage. The garage, aye. Is he a Celtic fan? Yeah, he's a Celtic aye. fan. Mm. See, it's me and my mate tried to watch. He's a bit Rangers heavy. So I'm letting the floor be yours. Right. What do you want me to say? How well, do you well, feel? How, how do you feel about this, this Saturday? I just, I think Celtic are an absolute machine now, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. And it's going to take a right good effort to beat them. I don't know if it'll be this weekend. Like I've said, we're due. We're going, we've only dropped four points all season. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, a lot of averages, as I say, we're due to drop points, but I, d- I don't think it'll be this weekend. You don't? Well, I don't know how I feel about it. You seem to be a bit confident, Bob, I think. I, I mean, for me, the, le- the, the league is by, but what, for it, right, so say there's that, a right, lot riding on it in terms of... Say we go there and win. You can't say the league's by with six points. No, because it's only six points mm-hmm. and we'll still have to play you as at Ibrox. Still have to play you twice after this, isn't it? Aye, the cup doesn't even win you the league, but... I think. No, is there no still? No, no, this is, a, this is a thought. Oh, that's what they say. Aye, right, aye. The big thing for Rangers is they can't go there and play like they played last February and then again at the start where they just, they f- within 10 minutes ago, these boys are scared. You could see they're scared shitless of the occasion. I think what's worse be, now as well is the fact that there's not going to be any fans. That's it, not going to be, I don't mm-hmm. think it made much of a difference anyway, being 700 there. I've got to say, however... With, a, with, a, with that, that place is going to be absolutely bouncing on Saturday. I just hope that some of the players have decided to strap one on. No get fear and they're going to be up for it. Aye, I mean, they need so to press right for the start. They need to be tapping them. They need to weather the storm mm-hmm. because Celtic are such a they're, they're such a strong side. They need to weather the storm for the first half. If they can make it by the first half without conceding a goal, mm-hmm. then it might be promising. But then you've got the flip side of that where you're saying they need to have a goal. If they have a goal, I mean, pre- I mean, press them. Pre- don't give them any space. But Celtic are good with that. They though. are. That's what Do you I'm know saying. what I mean? And if Celtic get ah. after a quick start, it, it comes, comes, could, could be a long day. I think. Oh, I. I think right. Like you're saying, I think the biggest problem we've got is us. Right. Oh, see aye. if we go there with the attitude we went to Park Kid numerous times under Geo. Right, it went wrong. Right, but after the cup final. I think they boys have surely got to go. We need to get a better account of ourselves. Mm-hmm. And you're right, the pressing, when we got the goal back in the cup final and we did start pressing a bit more, Celtic County really Hornet it was good. Right. They were, Starfelt was getting a bit rabbit he'd like, so he was losing the ball a lot and we were pressing. I feel if we can take the game to them, the key for me is midfield. We can, Lundstrom mm-hmm. can be anywhere near that, starting loving. So. It's got to be Raskin, Cantwell, and Jack in the middle of the park. For me, that's got do, to be. Do we know that Raskin's fat? No, we that's, don't. That's a big thing. Of course, he is. Do we know Hatati's fat? Told what's the news on him? I don't know, mate. I don't know. I'm sure we'll have somebody to take his place anyway. Oh, the confidence is right. Oh, man. Well, well. Well, well. Uh, <laughs> I feel like taking a drink. What about a big um, one? A big drink. But what, what, what are you thinking about in terms of? There's a lot of talk this week. People are talking about the potential Tillman playing a, as a false nine. Ah, there's a lot, man. Like, is Morelos going to get a start? Ch- uh, Chikek, what would you call him? Cholak, Chikeko, Chikolak, Cholak. It's not really a game for him. I, 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 I would leave Chikeko Ch- 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 on the bench. Chikeko needs. Chikeko can wait to our free free bush up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my mate, my mate, Dell, season twenty six, twenty seven. My mate Dell's been bumping his gums about this since the cup final. He says. He's adamant that you need to go with Tillman as a false nine. Mm. The last time we go in down there, like I think was it Aribo was the kind of false nine. That's what we were talking about the other day. But I don't, I don't see it, man. I see, I can, I can't see it in a part of it. No. I can't see in a part of it. Raskin, if he's fit, Campbell, Raskin, Jack, Campbell. I think it might be kind of similar to the weekend. Tillman playing, Tillman and Campbell can maybe. And it'll change me back, Morelos and Ken. That's I, I, I think he loves Lundstrom too much, mate. I think no, he doesn't. Mate. No, mate, no, uh, Fiskins fit. No, he doesn't. Um, I tell you what, but I think this is a big, 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 big game for Tillman. For for me, mm-hmm. for me anyway, because everybody goes on about the five million price tag, right? For what I've seen, he can do it against any other team in the SPFL, but you need to be able to do it mm-hmm. against Celtic. And and he's, he defense, only, he's a young boy. And his defence, I don't think he was fit for the cup final. I think Bill made a mistake there. Right. I think Bill made a mistake. That's my personal opinion. I don't think he should have been anywhere near that team. He wasn't fit. Bill made a mistake. It was a gamble that backfired. That's what you've, I mean. you've literally just said that Raskin should play in. But Raskin hasn't missed as many games as what Tillman's missed. 
mm -hmm. up leading up to that cup final. Raskin's only missed about two games for Rangers, hasn't he? So that's a different situation on the get off about Tillman was at that point. Man, you shut up. Who are you talking to, Wido? Yeah. And Tim. Arrogance, man. Doesn't he matter? You can have Tillman and Rakic and Who's Rakic? I don't know. He plays with that Chiguinko guy that <laughs> Grado was talking about. So you're ultra confident, too, aren't you? I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no. It's That's fair. I would be confident as well. Right, first of course, time. of course. Right. And even as I say, I know you, I'm saying the league's by. You're saying it's maybe no by. But even if they did, I'm not saying it's, it's no. It's not really then. You need, the only the only thing is then you've we've got to go to Ibrox. That's the thing. If we drop points on Saturday, yeah. we go to Ibrox. No Celtic fans there. Ibrox bouncing, like you said. Celtic mm. Park's going to be. It's a different kettle of fish. Celtic, uh, they've not been in that situation for how many seasons now. The last time there was any Celtic fans there, we beat East one not at Ibrox. Right, and that was Hellander, so that was at the start of mm -hmm. last season. Aye, that was the Covid game, wasn't I mean? So, that is what it is, but it's going to be... No, the Covid season, but they had, they had Covid. Aye. It's going to be a happening, mm -hmm. as Gerald Munson would say. Where are... Nice, nice callback, nice mm -hmm. callback to Gerald Munson, rest in peace. Uh, how, God are you, how are you going to be what, how are you going to be watching the game on Saturday at all? Are you going to be going to the game? I had, I had the option the now? of... I'm going to bust you. Sorry. What did you say that? You, say, you don't really go to games, do you? Uh, I says, uh, I had the option of a ticket, however. I can't say off of your house. I'm working on Saturday night. Oh, yeah. So, my, so I'll need to... What, go you say, what did you say? The can't say off, off, off of his ticket because he's working. <laughs> uh, I get Nicholas Sturgeon's man's ticket. <laughs> <laughs> we allowed to say that. Do I not, keep it don't, in. No, don't, don't. No, don't. Do not. Keep. Sorry, man. So, Sorry, are you still confident regardless of who starts in the middle of the park for Celtic? Um, I was like, can I speak to share, please? Can I speak to share, <laughs> <isn't it?"> As <laughs> long as <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm, to be honest the with you. The confidence is written out, and I can smell it. I know, he's leaving, he's leaving batted an eyelid. No, so no. He's sitting with ears for no, no. that, man. Do you know, since we've started doing this, I've never been as confident going into mm -hmm. an Angels game. Rightly so. Mm -hmm. Rightly so. so I Angels. <laughs> why, why did you not take the ticket then you were offered to go? Why would you know where to go? I know watch why. You? Why? Top deck. Oh, oh, is that a thing? <laughs> what? Is that a thing for you? What? No, I, I mean, it would be fine to go up there, but it's just the fact that it's, ah, I'm yeah, up the top right. deck. My eyesight's terrible. I'm not oh, going to be able right. to... <laughs> is your eyesight? I'd, I'd need to take the old binoculars. Right. Binoculars. 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 <laughs> Are you, what do you think? You confident? No. No. I, I, I can't say no. I'm all... I, I, I don't, no, I can't say. I mean, I think the, it's, it all depends. Right away, it's how they react. It's how they react to the kick off. Are they gonna? Are they gonna be up for it? Are they gonna have the shiters put up them? That's what I'm. I'm worried about your Barry situation. Well, I'm worried about the Tillman tab. Uh, Christ, here we go. I would probably say McGregor, Tav, the uh, Davis Goldson, the pup, Backstreet what? Backstick bomber. Well, it's kind of like, do you know that way? I'm like, he's had his opportunities <laughs> in the past. He's, he never does well at Parkhead. He's mm -hmm. not had a good. He used to do all right, man. I remember he used to. No, I yeah. used to be terrified of his delivery, man. Mm -hmm. The two, the two, man. The delivery, man. The guy that brings his parcels to you. I was like, I, he'd probably pals his dad. <laughs> so you would be terrified. <laughs> Special parcels. Jicky turns up and delivers them in a red van. Oh! <laughs> anyway, so, but that is the big kingway. Talking point, there's a talking point in the shoes. I would go with Bonner. I wouldn't throw Yilmaz in that. You wouldn't throw him in? I mean, I don't really think there's much evidence to say Yilmaz is deserving of starting. Right, really, because okay. if he's going to be getting a game flung into a cauldron, like this weekend. Could, could that be been, freeze? Could 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 freeze? Why buy him? Well, look, at, yeah, look, at, look at the yank for Fingway for Toasty. No, the, he's not a yank. That, aye, but mate, the, the thing is, Bill didn't buy him. It was Gio, and I don't think Bill's been there long enough now, and I don't think he's Disney featured much, so I don't think he fancies him. So I don't know why. I don't, I don't think it would make sense to go right, all of a sudden I'm going to play a new left back. Because obviously that's going to have an effect on your two centre halves or not. And you want to have a. It does depend whether I'm more. Uh, born as that once in my play. <laughs> I knew there was a joke coming there. We see it in his eyes. Ah, you could, aye. aye. Uh, yes. right, so what am I saying? So you're going middle of park, so Tillman Tillman No, no, Cantwell, Cantwell Jack. Cantwell Jack. Raskin. Raskin. Shakala. Tillman and Kent. 
All right. Oh, so you know, got, you got me telling me it's a false man. Time. Try it out, try man, it. because. Alfredo's not kicked a ball let's be honest he's, he's got it he, 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 he drowns but how is it no it's, it's, there's been that's what Walter was always a master of making like you go you read the line up and go what is he doing here Aye. and then you go well that paid off Aye. Yeah, if you're trying Aye. to equate Michael Beale to Walter Smith you should hand in your Rangers ticket man but, but that's not what I'm saying, no I'm saying it's, it's, it's merely well, that's you don't know to go to the games do you <laughs> It's, me, it's no really, it's no real. Th- I want my thing. It's merely the occasion. What you would do in an old firm to spice it up. Sometimes that can pay off. Sometimes Some, it can. Sometimes it can. I know. What's your, what I mean? your starting line up to? Mine. Fuck you. They bring on Morelos. If they still not have each, bring on Morelos in the second half. No, just put eleven of the squad on the pitch. <laughs> nah, me. Uh, I would go. <sighs> Scott Bain. No, uh, Joe, <laughs> Joe Hart. Alistair Johnson. Carter Vickers, Starfelt. Starfelt's got a mistake in him. I agree with you. He has. Right. Uh, left back, I would obviously. Has a problem there? Is Greg Taylor injured? I don't know. Bernabai. He is murder. I think it was only. Who Bernabai? Taylor got. Is he? I thought you oh, were. I, I, was, I, I, thought was, I thought you said he was going to be a player, no? No. Who? Bernabai. Murder. His final ball. Good goal to weekend, though. Close, uh, great finish. His final ball is terrible. Um, so. Let's hope he starts hanging if, if Taylor's fit, if let's, Taylor's, let's fit you go, if Taylor's fit, you go with Taylor. Right. Uh, midfield, McGregor, Hatati. The other, the other position is up near the now because if, if I don't know if Moy's going to be fit, I think he's out for a while. But I would, if he was fit, I would play Moy. Right. Um, if he's not fit, I like Tumble a wee bit, but. He's probably he's probably he would probably go with a water, I think. A water? I think he would probably go with a water. A water. Mm, a water right. play, he says to the manager. Is that is it? I get I get. <laughs> a water play. Because his name's a water. A water play. A water play the day, Gaffer. A water play. What a play. I want to play. <laughs> I want to play. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing to me right now. How are you not getting that? I want to play. A water. Because his name's a water. A water. Who's called a water? The guy. <laughs> the guy. Celtic's midfielder. He's called his second name's a water. Aye. Oh, don't like it, man. It's a water. I forgot to play the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a trick question. I've obviously not been keeping up no. with football. Please, please. There's a player called a water. Ra- ra- they call that guy who plays for you, Rascal Red, or something. Are they bumming me up? No, I no, played it. No, his name's a water. Hold on. Honestly, he's a Japanese midfielder. Hey, hold on. Man. Hey, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you, Graham. Right. Wait a wee second. Keep talking. Oh, here we go, man. Uh, I mean, I've made a film myself. I know. Did you Aaron know he played for Celtic? Aye, he played at the weekend. If Aaron Moy's not playing, he'll either go with Awata <laughs> or, he'll, or, he'll, or, he'll, or he'll go with he'll go with O'Reilly. Yeah, number 24. Oh, Christ. Is it Japanese? <laughs> Is it Japanese? Aye. Oh, man, I that uh, And then I'd go with, obviously, Jota. <laughs> you are not going to cut out. He'd go with Jota, uh, Maeda and Kyogo. Mm. But I think if it's getting a bit close, I think he might bring O on. Because he's a wee bit more. O on? He's a wee bit more. O on? Aye. O on. It's funny, but O on. He, 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 I can't really place for Jackie Marcus because he's a different dynamic up front, but he's not a physical. Big, big strong guy, aye. 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 And like, like I said there, if it's getting a bit tasty, then he might bring him on because he's a bit more physical than Kyogo. So we'll wait and see, but... Regardless, um, I think we'll I think we'll get the job done anyway. Mm. What about you, Bobby? The lineup, son. Back four picks at sale. I should have just said that. Rather Aye. struggling. Eh, uh, McGregor obviously back five picks at sale. Middle of the park. If he's fit, Raskin, Ryan Jack, Cantwell. If Raskin's no fit. There's a big problem there because you cannot. Yeah. There's a big problem because yeah, then, Lundstrom it, gets Kamara fat. Lundstrom, I, I don't. I don't want, imagine you just went mental and played Lundstrom, Kamara, and oh, Jack. again, again oh, together. I think Kamara's so far out the window. Who's man. Oh, he's, he's got some like, me. Sorry, mate. He's got to be. And then I think up front. I do agree with you a bit, Grado. I've got a feeling there's going to be something a bit different. He needs to spice it up, man. I think something different. Are we Derby day? I mad? still do think he's going to go away. The hang is, right, see away from home in a game like this. A comparison to the weekend there, right, I understand why Sakala doesn't start, right, because you've got basically 
Dundee United were playing like a bloody 6-4, right? You've yeah. hardly got any space there, so it's not a Disney suit, a play like Sakara, right? Down there. How was Celtic, that only 2-0, by the way? I certainly? know, I know. Celtic are going to have a go at you, right? So they're going to, there's going to be space there. I don't know how you do fit Sakara, and you maybe fit Sakara, and if you do play Tillman as a false nine, then you play Kent on the other side. Because I think Sakara can be a bit dangerous in the games. Mm-hmm. Terrif- terrifies you. What's that? He also says he's been training Sakala as a nine. How did you do that? I just, mate, how many, t- how many times did they try that last season? But for, he was he was like a man down through the middle. He was, he really was. But I can't pick the front three. I don't know what he's going to do. Because right. I, I, don't, I don't know if you, it's so stale, just Mirella's Kent. And, 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 and seeing Kent just off the tongue as well, you're mm-hmm. like, no, that we've got him. But he, how many times has he never talked? I mean, oh. don't get me wrong, he scored. Aye, he, he's got to start, but he's, he's got, got to start. start. He's got to start. I think Kent, I bet you know that Greg Docherty and that was better than him. <laughs> Did you see that video? Who said that? The guy on Super Scoreboard. No, well, said Greg Doherty was better than Ryan Kent. Not just Greg Doherty. Um, Jamie Murphy as well. Better Jamie Murphy was all right before I'm he I'm telling you this you now. See before he get that injury at Rugby Park. And by the way, that pitch is a bloody disgrace, oh, by the that, way. That did destroy Jamie Murphy. I remember career, seeing that dead, man. I I did. Absolutely. But I aye, the guy was going to have one on mm-hmm. Super Scoreboard. 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 Just on Super Scoreboard. Super Scoreboard. In her ear, ma. <laughs> no, but, no, but that's my t- I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's had a bit of tell you what, by the way, it's not all It's not all about the Glasgow Derby and stuff. It's not about the old firm. Our boys, Aberdeen. Oh! oh. Okay, what? Right, what's happened by to us? By the way, three po- a- Aberdeen us? are a win Did you see what was about? Place. Am I right? Did I see this right? I met a school by it on Twitter. It was a, like graffiti outside Tyne Castle saying Aye. Neil Sarout and all that. Neil Sarout. Aye. 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 They, they they wrote it on his car park space. Did they? And and uh, paint I. Why is he on it? Say that again. They went and took they, his. See, no, see his car park space. Aye. They wrote Nielsen out and paint on it. Oh my god! I know, I know. But I mean, they. But, but I'm sure they wanted rid of him when they were in the championship at one point, didn't they? There was no, a, he left them. Remember, he left them aye. and went to the United, and then he came aye, back. But when they were in the championship, I'm sure they got a couple of bummed bum aye, results. Aye, because Remember you and the Scottish, you know, they get beat off. Uh, uh, remember you was thinking of when he ended up walking aye. by him. Aye, 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 he's aye, what he's we can't have. <laughs> he's shy, he's shy, he's shy. He's a hearts manager. <laughs> the, G, the G4 derby at the weekend was a, a big result for the old Motherwell, wasn't it? That was anyway, a good result. Habs won, Motherwell Can I just four. say? Can I just say something here? Can I just here? say something here? Mm-hmm. Right. I got every result right last week. Did you? Yep, I said Motherwell would beat Hibs. I said Hearts would get beat. I said, uh St Johnson, Aberdeen, you said Aberdeen. Aberdeen. No, I didn't go on. Did you know St. say Levy would beat St Mirren? Levy. Aye, aye, I get, aye. I get uh, five out of six. I can't remember my guesses. I said Hearts anyway. I said Aberdeen. So what I propose is for the rest of the season, what? We do a league table where we have predictions. Aye. Can the Rudders keep up to date with that? What do you reckon? We'll get Ben to do that. <laughs> right, I'm up for that. You're up for shake that. Shake on it then. Right, then. Right, shake on it. Well, it's not a bigger thing, but right. Aye, shake on it. Hey, mate, it is. Because you know what you win out of this. Pride. Aye, right, okay. Aye. Also, I lost my pride as soon as I stepped at Tom. We're just, we're just, <laughs> tap, we're just, you lost your pride, you get a tap off and lay in your front yesterday getting that boil squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Asaurus part. <laughs> Oh, come on. Anyway. Hey, come on, that's what? poor. Right, look, poor. <laughs> that's in big man. No skin half man. Oh, that was tight. Thank you, man. Losers. Uh, <laughs> right, look at that league table now, right? Hearts are only a point ahead of Aberdeen now. It's what a is, point now. It's a point. It's the game some way for old Derville Gamer. I know, huh? Christian about. The Derville Gamer, no, They've only lost one game. <laughs> They've only lost one game since they get rid of... Rob's is doing some job. I know. What about uh, Godwin at the weekend? They're all giving it. Um, they, they were, they were, they were good, co- confident. Good uh, good 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 he's coasting, isn't he? He's coasting. Is he, he's not going to be there next Mate, season, is he? The results didn't go the way at the weekend either. Come on, not beating Hearts. Come on, not beating Hearts as well. Aye. And um, what was the other one? Ross, yeah, St. Mir- no, St. Mir- I mean, Ross County 3 London. Is, no, no Marlowe beat Hibs. Marlowe, ah, sorry, Marlowe beat Hibs. But, but that bottom six must look mental. Right, the bottom <laughs> six, the new. Is it? It is looking a bit okay, mental. Son, it's not as mental as the English one. You've seen no, that? No, I know. Dundee United are two points off Ross County. Kilmarnock with that win. So Dundee United at the bottom? Dundee United yeah. are bottom on 22. Aye. Ross County 24. are 11th on 24. Kilmarnock, because they're, they're beating Hearts at the weekend, are up to 28 points now. Right. So it, Motherwell, they're looking at 
turning the corner. Dundee United are either relegated or oh, they're in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed. I think <sighs> St Johnson are kind of dratting and all, man. They're, they could be there or not. I think that's a false position for Ross County, man. Honestly, I really do. Mate, I said that when Ross County came to Ibrox a few weeks ago. They looked a bit... They decent looked decent, side, man. man. But yeah, the ta- decent table team. doesn't like this. You're right, over the, the course of ta- the season, season, Stephen. No, it eight doesn't games, like... Is it eight games to go? After, or is it seven games after... I can't say... Uh, seven. No, 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 no. seven? I'll tell Aye. you. I'll tell you right this minute, Graham. I think there's... Wait a minute. I'll tell you right this minute, Graham. Um, I think there's seven to go. After this weekend, there'll be seven games. Seven games to go, so very, very tight. Dundee United have gone down, but but Motherwell. Big Kettlewell. He's done well, mate. Big he really, big really has. David De Ha. So he changed the name of the club to Kettlewell. Kettlewell. Aye. Huh? He, um Kettlewell FC. Uh-huh. Aye. Uh-huh. What would you call it? Kettle's mother's well. Kettle. Getting a bit stupid now, aren't we? Aye. 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 Is he no Hebrew? Because <laughs> the Kettle, that's pretty good for you, man. That is pretty good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tell, you you man, tell you something, man. Tell you something, man. This show's definitely no PG. <laughs> <laughs> that's a meltdown. That's a meltdown. Nice. I've, I've been left no up for that. I can't thank you, man. Hey, he's sitting there. He's using steaming. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's boiling up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just try to make a muggy me. Hey! I'm back. Uh, Stop it without laughing. <laughs> I don't mean, Still you know what fake laughing, man. I know, fake laughing. Fake laughing, no, I mean, no, but Dundee, they think are doomed. They're doomed. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's going to be interesting, isn't it? It really mm-hmm. is going to be interesting to see what happens. Should we know this? We should maybe just try just and put, should maybe put an advert in here or something. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. After that performance. <laughs> PerformanceTiles.net. Listen, are we there, there no? Ah, I keep uh, on. Uh, performance, uh, performance tile. Uh, uh. No, performancetiles.net, listen, they cover three areas of the central belt. They've got shops in Kermunnock, Air, and... Annie's Land. Annie's Land. Listen, if you need a tyre for your car, for your light truck, for your van, for your four before, they give you the best tyres possible. They use up-to-date fitting equipment. They'll make sure your alloys are looking pristine. And the wheels that they use, the tyres that they use, are some of the best tyres in the world. They do good year. Yokohama. Laza, the specialist in name. Pirelli. Pirelli. Firestone, maybe? And some Firestone tyres as well. Listen, they don't mess about. If you want to go... Yokohama. Yokohama. And Yokohama. So if you want to get your tyres... And Yokohama. So if you want to get your tyres sorted, get yourselves to www.performancetires.net. There we go. I think I'm just getting too hot. Right, let's, let's do a wee thing. That's your fever coming back on you. Go over here to ask me that book. Have you took your antibiotics? I have taken my right. Graham, have you took them? <laughs> have you? By the way, I know, I know we've spoke about what's happened to you, right? But is, is any of your buds like squeezing spots? Ah, oh, mate, man. that's a thing. It's a thing. It's weird that the, the lasses like stuff like that. It's like my, my nana says she always like shit. My fake nana always says she loves smelly men. Many fake relatives of you go. <laughs> Do you know who else says that? Uh, my Den- fate, Denise Van Outen she, she says me. she likes men that smell a wee bit like B.O. Aye, aye that's true. Right. No, I, no, I think women do like that. Again, that's a... Lucky your hygiene's terrible, Gredo. You'll be pulling the birds left, right and centre. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it's funny because my, my nana was saying she was, because my, my auntie Jackie was, was going on as well, because she's the man that was telling me, like, I need to drop weight for my wedding. She's gone, there's nothing worse than a fat man knock out. <laughs> so that's kind of... <laughs> Oof. But she's got a point, man. She went, there's nothing worse than a fat man. I tell her to get a fat fence, man. I know. I'm going to get a smock for that wedding. (laughs) (laughs) Showed showed Nana your photos and she said, what a wimp. She then said, what's that in his face? I said, mum, that's a cyst that's in his neck. She says, I'm not talking about that. It's that hairless beard beard on his face. It's bloody awful. He'll need to shave that off. In the name of God, he's like an old man with that in his face. Nicholas Ma says that to me all the time before. She used to always say to me, get that. I, always, I think Stephanie's feather always looks at me. I think, even the guy I told you last week, he's going, what's that on your neck? Like, they get offended with the fact that I'm attempting to do it. My mum used to say, yeah, I shaved, you look dirty. Aye, 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 aye. aye, aye. So actually, there was a comment on the TikTok saying that Gredo's a bit of all right with a beard. Aye, so, aye, 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 a
<laughs> Jimmy Cookie. Gotta get to the Aussie. What? What? I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna go to Villa. What? What? <laughs> Paddy the body. Uh, Paddy the body. Paddy the body. Pimplet. Paddy pimplet. Pimplet. Paddy pimplet. After this. Pimplet. Paddy pimplet. Paddy pimplet. Yeah, it's been going too long. I know, man. I think. I think the rudder. The rudder boys have got a wee. Oh, it seems to me we're getting word in my ear. Yes, listen, it's just coming in. Here, it's just coming in. Is that right? Is that is that Grant or Greg? Wait a minute, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going live to the table. I believe that's Greg with an orange jersey on. Um, he must be a Dutch rudder. <laughs> I like that. Good good one, good so just get so the Rudders, the Rudder family have decided to question us <laughs> with regards to the old firm this the, the Rudder family have decided to question us. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you last Tuesday? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so yeah, they've got a wee game up their sleeve, they're up all night, they were in their bunk beds last night. <laughs> right, what were they? Right, you started. Jake Grade all like this one. Aye. <laughs> Wad mics, right? We'll get it. We'll get it on. Yeah. How, can, how can we get more involved in the show? <laughs> <laughs> so hats off to the Riddles. They're going to take this segment. They're going to be in our ears. They're going to ask us a couple of questions with predictions with regards to the offer game on Saturday. So let's hand it over to the team. Right, guys. All right. <laughs> First question. You right. getting all nervous, lot? No, no. So well, I'll just ask it. Well, we'll go Collectively. Grado we'll go grade offer. Right, okay. So time of first goal. <sighs> Time of first goal. Well, I'm and the old firm game this weekend. Aye, no firm game this week. Time of first goal. I'm, ho- I'm going to say 52 minutes. I'm going to go 14. Oh, Bob. What? Mm-hmm. Six. You've got to say six. Oh, oh, 52, 14, six. That's good. This is good. This. And obviously, next week we'll pick this up and see who's closest. Aye, aye definitely. Right, next question. First booking. As in, what player's going to get booked for? Oh, see, this is where you need to know the lineup. Nah, you, no, you, go you, know you can go with your man's just going to be playing. You just need to know the referee, mate. <laughs> aye. That's true, aye. Well, I don't have fun, Clancy. Definitely uh, not a set like player anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the first player to be booked will be. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Kent. Kent? Kent? Aye, I'm going to go for Kent. He likes a bit of. Uh, scuffle. A scuffle and Derby Day. And I'm go. going to go... Turns up. And if yeah. the audience want to get involved, leave yes. your predictions in the comments. I'm going to go first booking on Saturday will be Alistair Johnston. Ooh. I'm going to say, if he's playing, Burnaby. If he's not playing, Morelos. Mm. What if Morelos isn't playing? <laughs> no, you can't <laughs> say two. <laughs> you can't say two. No. Just go with Morelos. You can't spell that other boy. <laughs> Just say Celtic left back because it'll be him or t- yeah, Taylor. All right. Who'd you go with, Kent? Mm-hmm. Next question, Quizmaster. <coughs> First goal scorer. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to go for. Let's go, scorer. I'm going to go for Connor Golson. Ryan Kent. Kyogi. Yogo. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. N- next question, Greg. Last goal scorer. Mm. Connor Goldson. <laughs> you going for a one now? now. <laughs> Last goal scorer. Cantwell. I'm very pro Rangers with this game. <laughs> David Turnbull. Half a bench. Half a bench. Thirty yarder. <laughs> How many VAR checks oh. will be in the game? Three. Three. That's a good question. A penalty, a penalty shout out. Two. An offside goal. I will go four. Woofed. Mm. Woofed. It's very tense in here. Aye, it's good, but I like Aye, this. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward Aye. to reviewing these in the week's time. Which celebrity will come up on screen first? Oh, that's a good one. Me first. Uh, Rod Stewart. If he's mm. in the country, I think he's in Australia, but I'll, I'll, I'll take a gabble in Rod. He could have a private jet to fly ah, now. Yeah, go for Rod. John, Rod. John Travolta's flying him over. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, was Bruce Dickinson. <laughs> uh, Steve, Steve. David Dickinson. <laughs> <laughs> Real deal. <laughs> 
Just jump in my plane. <laughs> so you got me rod? Aye. Capaldi. Peter. No, Lewis. No, Gianni. Right, okay. Top. Cool. Matt him. Mm-hmm. I'm going with Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, that's a good shout, mate. That's a good shout because he's in. He's in the, filming that. He's aye. in the hangway. He's By in. the way, I wouldn't have remembered if you didn't see Capaldi there. Aye. Did you? Did you see? That he was at that bongos bingos. Bingo. But it was funny. I read a comment. Somebody went, did, did, did he get him with Jake's in a train? Yes, <laughs> I was pissed myself out of his comment. <laughs> But he, uh, uh, he could be certain that he'd be. Hi. He'll be two, not two little motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, no, the, the, the thing is, because Gianni's doing that for him, and all, he'll take Samuel, he'll be trying to get him. Because remember, he used to do that with his name's already, he's already been pictured with a Rangers jersey. Samuel uh, Jackson. I know that oh, you're, you're goose then. You oh, he can't go. He can't go. You're no, you're no winning. <laughs> How, uh, because he's not going to turn up at Celtic Park because he was posing my Rangers jersey, uh, aren't uh, Well, uh, the, the, the driver. Do you, do you know know the driver? Jackson? Rochelle knows the driver that goes about. He's a Rangers fan. He got me posters, man. What's his name? I can't remember, mate. It's going to bug me, but uh, Rochelle tell me, but I think he was, because uh, I think the story was that Samuel Jackson was like, ah, where can I go tonight, where can I go, he says, I don't really know, Glad's going to settle tonight, he says, I'll take you to Bongo's Bingo and he went, and Aye. obviously I get pictured, so, cool, man. there you go, that'll be good to review <laughs> that next week, cool. Boom. Lads, the predictions were quite bold, some bold claims made there. Claims? And speaking of claims, Graham. <sighs> 100% of your claims G4 claims If you've had an accident and it's not been your fault It's been some idiot that's crashed into the back of you Please get in touch with Nicole and the girls at G4 claims Tell them all about it, Graham Well, listen, if it's not your fault Don't phone your insurance company Pick up the phone and call G4 claims Because, listen to this They make a hell of a lot easy for you They're going to make sure you've got a like for like car While your car is getting in and getting fixed Bob's got the number on hand It's 01698 767 172 That's 01698 767 172 Take it away, Graham 100% of your claims G4 claims G4 claims so it's a big old firm game on Saturday, big Easter guy. weekend as well. Big Glasgow derby, yeah. Old big firm weekend. <laughs> yeah, old firm weekend. What are you uh, doing for the derby anyway? Last well, I'm going to watch an old firm uh, in the house. You watch an old firm? I'm going to watch it in the White House, but I'm no drinking, and then I'm going to... Then I'm wrestling on Saturday night, that's why I'm not drinking. Oh. So that's two, two t- Mate, I've wrestled no, twice, this, like, twice this year. Why do you keep booking yourself in old firm I, days? I book myself in old firm games. Unreal, that's my second booking of the year, and it's an old firm. An well, old firm my. It's that you're going to a wrestling show on a DeLorean. <laughs> what? do you mean? I've lost that in old firm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Can we get him it? The classic time machine jokes. Aye, I don't know. Is that where we're at, where podcast? Aye, it's all bad. You've loaded it. So, anyway, this has been football, Dad. <laughs> well, my good mate Tam, you know Tam. Aye, big fan. Has got an empty. Oh. So for Mother's Day, no longer go there. He got his missus <laughs> for the way and for him you know, a present to go to Edinburgh. I don't know what they're doing. I get Edinburgh. to fuck but present. It's, but it's an overnight stay. Uh, Five up. Five up. It's an overnight stay. So we're all going to his gaff. Back at eleven Saturday morning. Nicola's going out with my mate Dee's missus. They're all going out. All the boys are going all day, all night. Who's going to be empty? They're, they're going to uh, Easter egg hunting or that. <laughs> I'm, go, I'm, 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 I'm getting my breakfast. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my... Speaking of Easter eggs, I'm getting my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you that? What? What? I did I tell you that? I'm getting my breakfast with Easter for me on Sunday. Are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I'm worried about Sunday because Nicola's like big plans Easter Sunday, family day, and I'm going to be hanging. Well, it's one of the ones, but do you know, sometimes do you, do you, do you know, put a bone out sometimes if we get bit earlier. Ah, you know, but he's getting empty. Aye, it's going to get messy. Are you working, aren't you? See, I, I'm working on Saturday, aye, but I'll be watching the game, but I'm working on Saturday night, so rather than going to the game and coming home, having to go to bed, I'm just going to watch it now. However, what? I'm with you. Are you going to breakfast with no, the No, see if they, not on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> see if they like, see if they go down early. If they go a couple of goals down early, I'm, I thought you got the pram, mate. Ah, oh, I managed your weekend's ruined. 
We were just I mean, saying that there before we started recording this. You got uh, you're a lot of different person than from game, but you, you, he's you, a you, 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 I obviously watched the pa- watch it panel. So I've got one game, game a year, man. He's just fucking stomping the ground and running about and all this. Do you think? I mean, I'm, I, I, of course, I'm passionate and all, but he kicks every ball and he does my tits in. Do you think well, you could ever envisage any sort of situation no. where we could watch one together? No. Mate, I've, the last time I've done that was my mate Porter, and it was the game, I think we got beat 2 0. Sam and I scored, I think it was the December game, right? And it he was. Used, it was I, I brutal. Brooks and McGregor ran right I, out the box. So. I, it was brutal. See what we're talking about in the way, yeah? Banshees of any sharing. Yeah. By the way, see, see if we watch the game that again. Film all about? I've not watched it yet. Did you watch it? Oh, it's horseshit. I Seriously? Oh, mate. I was watching the you way back. You can't see a Mark McDonough films, but I, I explains it all in the way he came from Vegas. Mate, you I, was probably, it's, 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 I was probably in Bruges when I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what Mark McDonough film you're watching? I'll, 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 in Bruges. In Bruges is class, by the way. I, I, I loved In Bruges. I aye. loved In Bruges. And I put it on and I went, what the hell is this nonsense? You'll know it when you see it. And that's what I'd be like with him. See if we watched an old firm game again and it went wrong for us. I'd be like, I just don't like you anymore. Aye. I don't like you anymore. But you liked me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fake laughing. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's nah, just I, I, I couldn't watch a game with anybody. Oh, well, mate, I had to do it. <laughs> I couldn't watch a game, mate. <laughs> well, sure, I had to do it with the wrestling daft mob. That's right. <laughs> yeah, was it was actually like, know that. Did you watch it with it. Ryan? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Ryan was cuddling, cuddling me and all that at the end oh. and just really condescending. Oh. Really condescending. Really patronising. I couldn't do that. I know, mate. So keep well. Listen, keep safe. Innit? Aye, you say, enjoy aye, yourselves. I said, have a good time. Don't let the football overshadow the rest of your life. Don't put an end up and daft on Facebook, spin the dummy, and all the rest. Of it. It's a mate. We see that's was it's annoying. We should be proud of the rivalry. We should be proud that we, this is how we get about it. And Don't know about that, mate. You remember what it's steeped in? <laughs> <laughs> Into them. <laughs> we be feet. <laughs> what? We Into be them. Feet. We be feet. We be feet. No, but Toll's very confident, which is understandable. <laughs> he was thinking that was another sign in this <laughs> <laughs> Who's the beef? Were you thinking that was another midfielder? As a wanker. Uh, who's beef feet? He sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Bump into a Celtic fan down the road, he's saying, but man, I think he's just up beef feet. I think beef feet will start sending him into a wanker. I tell you what, see if he's playing beef feet, could be cut. <laughs> A water and bay feet. Honestly, man, Jack and Raskin that you watch it too. <laughs> there we have it. Well, folks, like, subscribe, share. We have loads of fun. Record Aye. this. We hope you have loads of fun as you're watching it too. Share us, get us liked, get us out there. Pint to shots, the podcast, the football podcast. Take care. Wait a minute. Here's Mo Johnson. Oh. <laughs> a red squirrel. There's bay feet. <laughs>